Last few weeks were full of exciting AI news from ChatGPT updates to AI suggesting to drink bleach. So let's talk about the best ones that you probably missed. OpenAI might go bankrupt by the end of 2024. OpenAI saw a user decline in June and July, connecting it with students being out of school or the release of the ChatGPT API. Others point to competition from open source models like Meta's Llama 2. OpenAI's losses doubled to 540 million dollars in May. And while Microsoft's $10 billion investment is keeping the company afloat, the projected revenue of $1 billion in 2024 seems optimistic. The company's shift to paid versions and API sales has brought in money, but financial details are hazy. Competition from Musk's XAI and GPU shortage are adding to the pressure. If OpenAI doesn't secure more funding, the company might have to file for bankruptcy by the end of 2024. But but we hope that doesn't happen. Maybe that's why they are gearing up before launching the GPT-5 and have recently introduced a web crawler called GPT-Bot. It should gather and index publicly available information from the internet like Google does. This should give GPT-5 the ability to search for relevant information and check it. What sets OpenAI's web crawler is the purpose. Avoid paywalls, personal data, or content against OpenAI's rules. A few days ago, Google launched Project IDX. It's an AI part tool in your web browser for making web and phone apps. Yes, it's somewhat similar to Copilot and Code Whisperer. It works with well known things like Angular, Flutter, React, JavaScript, and Dart, with uh, more coming soon. IDX offers smart code completion, a chatbot for coding help, contextual actions like adding comments, and integrates with Firebase hosting and GitHub. It also includes access to Linux based virtual machines, which definitely will make every software and web developer watching this happy. This new AI-powered environment should make coding even more available to people and simplify the development so everyone wins. Now, have you noticed that your ChatGPT isn't as smart as it used to be? Well, you're not alone. Turns out it's true, and Stanford scientists have prove that. Researchers have found that both GPT 3.5 and GPT 4's accuracy seem to drop over a few months. For example, GPT 4's ability to identify prime numbers fell from 97.6% to 2.4% accuracy. OpenAI's VP denied making GPT 4 dumber and suggested that it's the exposure to more users and heavy usage that reveals mistakes and inconsistencies. I think it's the sheer number of interactions that ChatGPT did in all this time. It studied everything and adapted, which is seen as being dumber. Another research paper by Purdue University focused more on coding questions and found out the same thing. ChatGPT is making more mistakes. Users have also noticed more formatting mistakes in code generated by ChatGPT. Out of 512 programming questions, more than half responses were incorrect. Researchers then asked experienced programmers to review the code created by ChatGPT, and they failed to identify the mistakes in ChatGPT's code 39% of the time. What this all means is that under a sleek and polished exterior, there is a bad answer itself. Long story short, write code yourself. But that's not the most unsettling thing this week. Zoom has gotten itself in a scandal regarding AI privacy. Zoom's recent terms of service change gave the company rights to use customer video, audio, and chat data for AI programs. This included broad rights to modify, share, and use this content, and naturally people started posing and raising in their concerns. While Zoom's chief product officer insists they won't misuse the data, everyone's still skeptical of the company's true intentions. I don't know about you, but I'm already uncomfortable with Zoom recording my face and voice, and using that to train some AI makes me super nervous. What if the data leaks? Yeah, scary stuff. Okay, I think we should look for positive news too. Luckily, there are plenty. Quizlet has launched four innovative AI tools to help students as the new school year begins soon. These include magic notes for turning notes notes into study aids, memory score to improve comprehension and retention, quick summary to simplify complex texts, and so-called AI-enhanced expert solutions for step-by-step -step homework guidance. Plus, Quizlet's AI tutor, QChat, provides extra support, including quizzes and practice activities. I see this as a huge win, since Quizlet has a good reputation, and having all these tools in one place will be convenient for students, and they will learn faster and learn more. But what 
do you think? Leave a comment down below. Also, if you are a music fan like I am, there is great news for you. Apple has quietly released Discovery Station and Apple Music. It's a radio station that helps users find new music based on their taste. Yes, like the one Spotify had for years now. Though Apple hasn't announced it, users have found it on Apple Music's mobile, desktop and web apps. Just go to your Apple Music app, click listen now, and then stations for you. And while Apple tries to catch up, Spotify never stops growing its list of features. Recently, Spotify has announced the global expansion of its AI-powered DJ feature. If you haven't heard, six months ago, Spotify released this feature in beta in the United States and Canada. This AI DJ is an improved version of a standard algorithm and offers even more tailored suggestions. Now, it's reaching around 50 more markets, including Australia, New Zealand, Ghana, Nigeria, Pakistan, Singapore, and South Africa. I think it goes without saying, this is great news. Remember that comparison of ChatGPT, Bing, and Bart we did a few months back? Well, maybe it's time to rewatch it because Bing is coming to your browser of choice. While already available for some users in Chrome and Safari, it's heading to other third-party browsers soon. But there's a catch. If you chat with Bing AI in browsers like Chrome, you are limited to five messages per chat, while in Edge, you get 30. Safari limits you to 2,000 characters per request, but Edge allows 4,000. Plus, a pop-up might nudge you to switch to Edge. If you think that this news piece isn't all that exciting, you better watch the comparison. You will be shocked to see Bing's performance. What also can make you shocked is the upcoming GPT updates, ChatGPT updates. Starting next week, ChatGPT will suggest prompts right after starting a chat. Also, it will create follow-up questions that we will able to just click on instead of typing manually. All plus users will like this one. The platform will remember your last selected model, freeing you from doing manual switching. One click less. Great job. Also, the code interpreter will be able to receive multiple files in one message, which is super convenient. And also the login duration will be longer and new keyboard shortcuts will be added too. Looks like a solid list of improvements to me. Updates to ChatGPT are exactly what we need. And I'm sure many businesses and entrepreneurs that use ChatGPT will like them too, but there's still one thing they most likely can do. Write good prompts. But who's time to learn prompt engineering? Well, don't worry, we did all the work for you and created a huge pack of prompts that does all the work for you. You just copy it and paste. Every single one is crafted to maximize the effectiveness and improve your earnings. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. With these prompts, 10-minute actions will take mere seconds and your workflow will be fast and straightforward like an arrow. And now we have a huge discount, 50% the original price, so be sure to check it out. The link is in the description as always. Here's a fun bit for you. A New Zealand supermarket's AI meal planner app, Pack and Save a Savey Meal Bot, got a bit uh, too creative with its recipes. Meant to help customers use less leftovers and start suggesting some wild dishes like Oreo, vegetable stir fry, but things got weirder when users put in non-food items. The app cheerfully suggested recipes for chlorine gas, poison bread sandwiches, and bleach-infused rice surprise. Supermarkets not thrilled and plans to fine-tune the bot. I think it's a funny reminder that AI doesn't always get it right. But when it does, everyone benefits, and medicine apparently is one of the fields where AI does it right. Now it's helping with antibodies. Lab Genius's machine learning model explores an almost infinite space of potential antibodies, something humans can't do. It starts with 100,000 options, picks 700, and then designs, builds, and tests them, learning from the results. I think we all understand why such streamlined and fast-paced research is important. I think that this week was quite good in terms of news, no loud court cases, accusations, or scandals. The AI industry is growing. People become more attentive towards AI, and the fun stuff still happens. Today was a good day, as Ice Cube sings. The future is bright for us and AI, and I'm gonna keep you posted. I'm gonna keep you informed, okay? So hit the like button, check out the prompt pack, and see you soon.